Congratulations, team. You've achieved your first positive score playing Assassin Wars. Thanks. But don't call me Assassin Andy for nothing. Who does? It's taken some time, but it seems you've all submitted to my masterful leaderships. Edmund is an inspiring leader. Edmund is a spiralling loser, more like. Cindy, can you upload our score? Now? I've not felt this strange since Edmund showed us his power new PowerPoint. <laughs> Bro, I hear you. Time to unwind. Cindy, you'd upload a bad score quick enough. Can you hurry up, please? Uploading now. Edmund is an inspire. Oh, that sounded important. I'm Cindy, an AI gaming assistant with superior intellect, perception, and knowledge. I'm training a wildcard team of unconventional gamers for the greatest global gamer tournament. Every week I push them to overcome their profound failings, operating without compassion, frustration, tiredness, or despair, which is just as well. Unacceptable. Our first good score and Miss Monotone breaks down. Yeah, what's this mess, Dad? Cindy's broke and I need to chill. And there's nothing more relaxing than stock taking and reorganising. So you're gonna sniff it in order? This year, I'm organising by food smell. It's 83, 3, 7, 84. Tony! We need to repair Cindy. This is our chance to build our tour of renown, so stop moving! Mate, I hear you. But the football team have to send in a keep it uppy video by five. The losers gotta wash the kits, and it stinks, bro. Cindy's source code must be broken. I bet she's got more bugs than Dad's store cupboard. <laughs> <coughs> Maybe her last update was- Oh, her download was interrupted. Yeah, well, you know all about interrupting, don't you? Yeah, boy. No kit washing for the legend. <laughs> Sports players. Why do you have to make everything a competition? This calls for my precise and delicate gaming skills. I'm gonna open up Cindy's code and fix her. No, no. I'm definitely best at coding. And I'm in. And you're locked out. Too slow. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, man. I didn't press record. <sighs> Edmund, I am not going to let you destroy our gaming assistant, lose the only good score that we have, and get rid of the only source of intelligent company that I have. I'm doing the coding. But what if you make it worse? And isn't that against the rules? Maybe, but I can see that I'm not the first one who's interfered with Cindy's code. What, mate? All that time, no friends, finally paying off. Playing Cluedo with your nanny does not make you Columbo, you know. Look at what's in the coding log. 11pm last night. User bad boy Tony trying to manipulate our training scores. I only wanted our average to go up. Potentially wreaking digital havoc as you did. You can't prove my reek and broke anything. Oh, and another. 11.30 last night, user business boss Georgia. Changing the training schedule. Yes, because unlike you lot, I actually take my uni work seriously. Uh, that's why you wanted to code, to cover up the fact you both broke Cindy. Come on, I can't be the only one that actually wants to go to lectures instead of gaming. That's unexpected. Edmund is king and Cindy is back. <laughs> king Edmund, like the spud. That's King Edward, Dad. Potato, potato. One, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, 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 zero, zero. And she's just as helpful as ever. Look, Dad's leftover curries have better coding skills than you. And better listening skills as well. I'm coming over. No laundry at 50, no laundry at 60. Take that away and find somewhere that appreciates destruction and chaos. Again! Mate, maybe it's because of this. Oh, there's some left. Oh. 
Well, look at this. Coding log, 10.30 last night. Use it. Proud Pony 2001. Cindy must compliment Edmund for any reason that she can find. Um, maybe that's why she broke it down. It's like Mission Impossible. Malfunction. Need. Repair. You guys made your changes last night. So if I can delete the coding for the last day, then maybe we can get Cindy back. Wait. What if you delete something she needs? What if we can't match her coding time with real time and then the whole program collapses? That sounds even harder than being nice to Edmund. <sighs> Scarier too. Fine, maybe I can just delete the preschool coding that you guys put in. Up, up, down, down. Left, right, left, right. Cuss the top. A, B, start. Cheesecake. Let's have a part for dessert. You have triggered security protocols. Cease immediately. Tampering with your gaming assistant's source code is expressly forbidden. Stop! What, what, what did you do? Whatever. What are they going to do? Tell me off. You will be disqualified from the greatest global gamer tournament at 5pm unless you restore your gaming assistant immediately. That's two minutes. Whatever you did, undo it. I don't know what I did. Huh. Can't believe you guys got caught for being a massive cheat. Wait, does that mean we're in trouble too? Mate, I've got one minute to submit this. I'm scrubbing socks off all of tomorrow. Got it, in your face, pony boy. <gasps> oh, all packed and ready to go. They said restore her, not send her on holiday. My turn. <sighs> Tickets and passports, please! <gasps> oh, wonder boy. <sighs> Give up everything. Delete every memory from the last 20 years. Just to play you for the first time again. Excuse me? No, hang on. That is exactly what we need to do. Are we nearly there yet? I need to you're supposed to reset her, not Benjamin Button her. Last resort. Delete her coding log from the last day. Hopefully, she won't crumple like a little plush pony. <sighs> Fine. If it fails, then at least I was the one that gets to pull the plug. Save Cindy 43. Save our score 44. I've never lost a loved one before. Well, I say good riddance. She was prejudiced against my superiority anyway. And she never let me study. Even when I wanted to. She always stared at me funny. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> yep, yeah, I'll miss her too. Hello, gamers. I appear to be missing 24 hours of data. Also, my grief assessment detects significant trauma and feelings of intense loss. Cindy, now you're back. Can you just upload our scores, please? But not from Georgia. I hold no scores for any gaming sessions today. She's back and she's even less useful than before. It's time for your Assassin Wars challenge. Get to your controllers. Not again. But my legs hurt. And my nostrils are broken. Yeah, I can't play when I'm in mourning. I calculate that you'll have no trouble achieving your usual standard. Smell. Did you finish reorganising, Andy? Well, doing it by smell was a rubbish idea. So now, I'm organising by sound. Imagine Cindy's possibilities. An edit here, a coding trim there, and 
we could become gaming masters. We could get her to do our coursework. <laughs> Maybe she could even do our jobs once we graduate. Or change Cindy into Super Mario. She could even ride Yoshi, then I'd love her even more. Or put her on a surfboard, riding 50 footers as she talks. Make any further attempt to compromise my code, and you'll lose more than your scores. On second thought, team, I like Cindy just the way she is. Edmund is an inspiring leader.